Today I'm going to teach you how to paint this God of Learning and Wisdom. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. We're painting Thought. Thought. Thought today. <laughs> uh, he is a god from On Gods of Egypt. He's prime in a great primer. We're starting off with the biggest mistake I made with this miniature, which was painting him with hardened carapace. Now the bottle clearly shows a dark gray. It comes out green. So anyways, I cut it right there. I painted the whole thing, but I'm going to redo it after. We're using a little bit of pale skin. Now this is a unique paint found in the Zombieside Invader paint set. And I'm going to be doing that for his hair. And I had started doing the fur around his arms. I was like, whoop, nope, can't do that. That's not what I want to do. So it's oak brown that's going to be used on all the fur around the hands uh, or the, the legs and certain areas. So anyways, that's going to mesh in later on with the next color that I'm going to put over his skin. I'm going to I let it dry so that it didn't blend too much. And it was so shiny. So here we go. Dark stone is what we're using to do the entire skin again. We're going to cover up all that hardened carapace. I'm not putting on too thick of a layer because I didn't want to lose any details of the miniature. Uh, but this is so much better. And it doesn't glisten like the hardened carapace did. That's just such a weird color. All right, we're doing uh, his cape or one part of his robe with some ultramarine blue. This is such a beautiful blue color from the Army Painter. As you can see, I'm putting it on pretty thin at first so that uh, I don't lose any of the details. And just come over it with a second layer and you'll get the nice texture you want with it. As you can see, I'm, I think I did it later on, but uh, anyway. So now we're using some bleached skull. This is a unique paint from the D&D line from the Army Painter. And this is gonna be for Zeta robe. And I don't see a difference between pale skin and bleach skull, to be honest, but that's just me. Arid Earth, now we're going to be using this on his scimitar and this little sun kind of thing that he has on top of his head, which we're later going to do a little something special with that. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. All right, some tanned flesh, and this is going to be for the scrolls that this god of learning is holding or has on him uh, this is a beautiful color for parchment i find uh, it's got like this old rustic paper look to it uh, it does go on a little thin so if you have to put a second coat on you go right ahead so at least you don't lose the details again next we're going to move on to some cobalt skin we're going to give this guy a uh, mani pedi so the nails on the feet the hands as well as his teeth so this guy's got some pretty uh mean looking chompers there so uh, be careful when you put your, your, your finger close to that no, I'm kidding all right moving on to some tainted gold this is gonna be for the handle of his scimitar not that scorpion part or scorpion tail part and also the bowls or whatever he's holding I don't know what that is I, I thought at first it was a scale but it looks like he's just holding these two bowls Leather brown is the next color we're going to be using now, folks. We're going to be putting this on that one strap that he has going around him. Also, the straps that are holding up the scrolls. And it goes on to his back as well. So you just want to make sure you get all of that. Be careful not to hit that blue. But if you do, hey, you just paint over it. Joys of painting. Pure red. Now we're going to do some parts on that scimitar and his handle. And his tongue as well. Uh, he had a very bright red tongue that from what I could see in the artwork. And he had these nice little... Uh, designs in his scimitar and I didn't want to miss that. And the next color we're going to be using is a metallics color. It's night scales. This is going to be for that scorpion tail on the end of his scimitar. Such a beautiful color I'm telling you. like It's like a dark blue, almost black metallic. So nice. It's just amazing. And it, it comes out almost all goopy though so I don't know if there's not enough pigment in it or something or not enough medium. Anyways, void shield blue. Now we're doing that feather that he has in that one bowl and also dry brushing over his entire uh, cape or robe or whatever here. Uh, just to get the raised hedges. You don't want to get too much of it. Uh, just to give it that light effect as well. Some people would just normally take a very small detail brush and just go over the lines with it. But I like dry brushing. Witch brew, army painter, going for that weird stuff in the other bowl no clue what it is in the artwork he doesn't have anything in his bowls 
So I just figured it was something weird. All right, to finish off that scale of, or bowls or thing, we're gonna use some hemp rope. And this is gonna be just for the cord that he's using to hold up these two bowls. Then we're gonna move on to some bright gold, of course. We wouldn't have an Ankh miniature without some gold on them. So pretty much anything that hasn't been painted yet is gonna be in gold. And again, why do I keep using this bright gold? I don't know. It's so hard to go on. It, it Although it covered the gray pretty well, uh, it, it covers up light colors really well. Darker colors it has a hard time with, but light, uh, light colors, like if it would hit the white, uh, just amazing then. It would pop even more. All right, there we go. Some Green Stuff World Color Ch Shifting Chameleon Paint Solar Anomalies. You can't see it really too much, but it has this like pink hue when it moves up and down, side left to side. Uh, we're going to finish off some of the jewelry now with some ghostly vapors. So, and also dry brushing the edge of a scimitar where those little nooks and crannies are. Like these little graphics or little designs on the side of a scimitar there on the inside part. Or outside part? I don't know which way to look at that. Apothecary White now. This is going to be... I, mean, I know, it's. I was doing all army painter stuff, but this is the only way I find I can shade white. And for some reason, it gives like a blue hint instead of a gray hint. Uh, a little bit of light tone now. We're using this on pretty much everything but the blue. And, uh, the, of course, the white on the dress because we just used that contrast. So this the hair, as you can see, is very... comes a little bit too brown, but don't worry, we're going to fix that up. We're going to come back and uh, clean that all up. Now we're going to use some blue tone to cover up the blue. And as you can see, this gives it a nice shading effect to the blue, brings back the dark blueness of it, but also keeping a highlight at the same time. Now, I forgot to show you that I dry brushed some white over the hair and the dress. So I did that. You'll see that in the final picture coming up. I hope you guys are enjoying these Ankh God videos. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you all in the next one.